Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a loot drop in Roblox Studio. All right, so first, in server script service, we're gonna add in a script. And then inside this script, you're going to add in your money bag model. I'll show you what mine is, or whatever model you want to drop when a player dies. And we're just gonna put that in the script. And let's just rename the script to loot drops. All right, now we can go into the script and we can do game.players.player added colon connect a function and then p. And then we can do local ls equals instance.new then a folder and comma p. And we can do ls.name is equal to leader stats. And just to make sure that this is a lowercase l. And then we can do local cash or whatever you want your currency to be called is equal to instance.new and we're going to do an int value and then we can do cash.name is equal to cash and cash.parent is equal to ls all right and now we can go down and we can do p.character added and connect another function and then we'll just do c and then we'll do c wait for child and then we'll do human humanoid dot died and then call and connect a function then we can do local bag is equal to script dot money bag colon clone local cf is equal to c dot humanoid root part dot c frame equals vector three dot new and we're just gonna do zero comma c dot humanoid root part dot size y times so for that we'll just use that and we're going to do 1.5 and then we're going to do a minus bag dot size y divided by okay and this is actually supposed to be a dash instead of an equal sign and then we do need a comma right here now we can go down and we can do bag dot c frame equals cf and we can do local proximity prompt equals instance dot new and we can do proximity prompt and then we can do comma bag. Then we'll go down and we do proximity prompt dot action text equals hold e to collect or something like that. And we can do proximity prompt again and we can do hold duration is equal to one. Then we're gonna do proximity prompt again dot triggered colon connect a function and then we're going to do player triggered and then we're going to do player triggered dot triggered dot leader stats dot cash dot value plus equals 100 or whatever amount you want and then we can do bag colon destroy and I did miss a period right here, and then same thing with this right here. Okay, and then also one other thing, right here, we can put bag.parent equals workspace. So now we can go ahead and test it and reset our character. As you can see, you see that it shows right there. So if we hold E and collect it, we get 100 cash. So that is how you make a loot drop in Roblox Studio. If this video did help you, then please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. The project file for this video will be in my Discord server. The link for the server is in the description, so go ahead and join that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.